So they give you an iPad, you get a laptop, you get your own office, top notch shit on eighty lit. Period. Period. <laughs>to another video here on Gigi's Thrive Guide where you get your short, your sweet, your simple insights on how to thrive in the world. If you are new to my channel, welcome to the Thrive Society. You have joined the gang, 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 gang. <laughs> you have joined the gang. Okay, I'm gonna just keep it 100, okay? Now, um, so this video is gonna be all about, you know, um, the process of training as a district sales leader because I've been getting so many messages, people saying, and messages on Instagram mostly, Instagram and YouTube comments, um, and if you have not known, you know, my Instagram is gurneys.g, G-E-R-N-I-S-E, period, G. Okay, go at me. I do follow back. Yes, ma'am. And I do answer questions. Yes, sir. I have been promising you all, all of my corporate America lovers, all of my Frito-Lay lovers, welcome back. I've been promising y'all this video since last year. I'm so sorry. Y'all have seen that I have been trying to kind of rebrand, you know what I mean? Take it up a notch because really my passion is traveling, doing things, discovering things, and sharing it with you guys. But anyway, guys, so today we are talking about Frito-Lay DSL training. So now it's time to jump right into it. Okay, you're probably watching this because, you know, you're interested in becoming a district sales leader or you are currently a district sales leader or you're going through the process. My actual title was a district sales leader designate. Technically, they call it a designate because I did not come from another job. I came from college, okay? Now, first things first, um, I did comment at one point that I did quit. And I'm gonna have a separate video about that and why I did quit Frito-Lay. Um, Cause it, it's definitely a story. Okay. However, you know, in terms of the training process, right? Um, just to break it down, number one. So I was scouted out at my university. I went to the University of Florida for those guys who have been following me for a while or if you're new to my channel. I went to the University of Florida and typically, you know, universities, not just UF, but multiple universities, typically have career fairs. Now, if you are a young professional or even like a professional looking to move into this field or Frito-Lay in general, I'm telling y'all right now, definitely go to career fairs because that's where you can actually make real world, real life connections with people. So I remember I went up to a Frito-Lay um, recruiter slash HR rep and spoke to him and we actually connected talking about my previous job at Chick-fil-A video coming soon but yeah we, we actually connected through that and through our real world connection not just talking about my professional life but how it was like growing up he was actually able to grab my resume take a photo of it boom book me for an interview and everything so i went through the whole interview process leading up to the training process and like most of you guys who are looking to get into the position if you do get into the position you will have to actually shadow a RSR or a truck driver, pretty much. Different locations do it in different periods of time, but where I was in Miami, Florida, after you do the training online, like you learn all the terms, you learn how to be safe on a truck, you actually have to go in. This is pretty much an in-person job. You're gonna go in and actually shadow an actual RSR. That's why when I see comments of people talking about, oh, DSLs don't do much, DSL. We do what you, we, we pretty much trained exactly how you train. Okay, let's just say that. Let's just leave it there. Let's just leave it there, okay? Me as a female, and I'm not even trying to, you know, stereotype myself or nothing, but it was it was very challenging because I'm getting on trucks, right? This is a predominantly male industry. So having to actually shadow um, an RSR who was a man, go to his stores with him every day, okay? And follow his schedule, right? So for example, my RSR himself that I was shadowing with, he was my trainer. For the first, I'm going to say five weeks, pretty much, he was, you know, we were meeting up at our actual location, clocking in, okay, we were um, looking at our orders for the day, we were printing them out, we were going out into our stores, assigned stores, we were actually putting Frito-Lay products into the stores at 5 a.m., 6 a.m., honey, yeah, we was up. So yeah, they definitely made us work for that money, honey. They really made, like, we were, let me tell y'all, the schedule was a lot. It was a lot. Because sometimes our, our schedules can change. Why? Because 
they are always, you know, on go. Some stores have closing times where you can come into the back door and actually check in your products and actually be able to organize your products. You also have to be able to look through the products to make sure nothing is um, expired. If it's expired, you got to take it out, put it in the back. Then you have to hurry up, drive to your next store and make sure everything is set. Like make sure you are moving safely and quickly and efficiently. You're not just organizing chips. You are, um, you know, making sales. You are, you know, keeping yourself and holding yourself um, accountable for your actual, it's almost like you're running your own business and you're going into store, your stores that you're putting your products in and you're making sure everything's on point, pretty much. So after you do that training with the RSR, you do more training. I think it's about another, I'm gonna say another three or four weeks where you are actually on a truck by yourself, honey. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> <laughs> by yourself you're on a truck um and you're pretty much being an rsr for a good month or less than a month you're pretty much being an rsr and it's hard it was hard for me because like i said i'm a female i'm walking around sweat dripping everywhere you just you know you feel uncomfortable your period comes on like it's just it's a lot it's a lot and then you have to move quick right you have to eat quick all that so i had to really learn in that moment time management um, I had to learn um, how to control my mind, my everything. So pretty much you complete all that. And mind you guys, you do a small format training. So you're with a smaller, um, a driver who drives a smaller truck. And then you also get with the driver who drives a larger truck to go to larger stores like Super Targets, Super Walmarts, big, larger Publixes, right? So you get to see the different size of things. Um, and after that, that's when you actually get into the actual, actual um, DSL training, which for me was the part that I absolutely love because I am more of a technical writing research, okay? I am like Sherlock Holmes, honey. It's like if a man is cheating on me, I will find, I will know before he even, you know, before he even reveals himself, honey. Like that's what I love. It might sound crazy. But I love researching. Like, I love researching. I can find things quick because technically that's what I studied, right? Public relations, it's like you are representing a brand. You are having to stay on top of issues, on top of trends, honey. You cannot miss a beat, okay? That's why I love social media. I love YouTube. I love y'all. Thank y'all for watching. But yeah, so that part after your whole training, like I said, sometimes they tell you, oh, it's four to six weeks, four to eight weeks. It can be more. You just got to catch on quickly after you do that that's to me that was like the hardest part as a female and for a lot of men that's the easy part because it's like physically demanding to be acting as a rsr but other than that right you move on to your your technically your third stage and you are learning um an actual ipad you're learning the systems that it takes to actually sell to stores so they give you an ipad you get a laptop you get your own office top not shit on um, 80 lit Period. Period. Top notch. Like, you are actually becoming a boss, baby. You becoming a boss. You feel the boss vibes. You get to decorate your office. Every little thing, right? So, once I got that, I felt like I was on top. Because, like, baby, I made it through. I made it through. You heard me. Y'all see I'm cute. And being on that truck was not cute for me. But I made it through that part, right? That's how I felt. So, actually getting my iPad, I learned so many different um, programs and, and C CRM software systems like Tableau and, and Salesforce, right? They use something called StoreFax on the man, which is something that I showed you guys in my previous DSL video. So you're learning all of these systems. You're learning how to write up people like RSRs. You're learning like how to take photos and how to do reports. You know what I mean? You're learning how to organize and make sure all your chips at your stores are organized. Cause it's pretty much like now you made it through the physical side. Now you're you're focused on the back end, right? The logistics, the inventory, making sure sales are up to speed every single week. Y'all know, even Publix, for example, they change their sales every single week. So it's stuff like that that us as DSLs have to keep up with, right? So there's moving parts to it, but that's what I loved about it, right? You're also um, pretty much having your own mini district meaning that you are managing um, RSRs yourself, 
right? So this is kind of like a trial period, not even trial, but it's a period for your boss, okay, your head honcho, to see how you really move and how you really manage people. Because a lot of people have different management skills. And I saw myself, a lot of a, a lot of other DSLs who were there when I when I was training, they were like hard, like they were yelling at their RSRs. Which for me, that's not my type of, of management style, honey. I don't yell. I'm too cute to yell. Y'all see my nails? Y'all see my hair? I'm too cute to yell. So I don't really yell. I don't, I'm not going to scream at a grown man versus a man screaming at a man. You know, I guess it works. But for me, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to try to act hard. You know what I mean? Like, no. So um, that could be challenging for some people. It really just depends how you are, who you are, you know, um, and what really you can take, like, are you soft per se? You know what I mean? Are you hard? Like, it really all depends on how you are. Me, myself, right? My management style is more like, here's what you need to do. If you don't do it, here is um, your consequences. Um, and that's on you, baby. You're going to get fired. That's on you. Good luck. So that's just me, right? So I was going through that whole process, figuring out how I was at, as a manager um, and figuring out who were my... Um, RSRs who were not as strong as the others or RSRs who really cared less, right? Because you have a lot of RSRs who don't really care. Like they don't, they literally just there to get the money. They feel like the job is about throwing chips up and leaving. Meanwhile, they have a whole bunch of expired chips. And then by the time they take out their expired chips, it's like a, a month, two or two or three months later. And then you have to write them up like... I can talk for days, y'all, but that's what comes with it. You're learning all of um, your RSR. You're learning pretty much, you're learning your team and you're learning the systems and you're also shadowing another DSL, which is a cool part about it too, because when you shadow other DSLs, they're able to show you how to make selling points, right? How to speak to store managers, because that's only one part of the job, right? Like I said, there's so many moving parts. So at this point, you know, you have to be very patient, right? Yeah, you did the whole physical side of the training, but you gotta be patient when it comes to learning because there's so much that you have to learn and retain and remember. And on top of that, um, they do these things called doc. I think it was called doc hours where you are actually waiting for RSRs to come in or you're staying late, later in the day until 5 p.m. and waiting for RSRs to leave, right? So you're just, it's kind of like you're managing the office space. So after that, you guys, you go through something called capstone training, which is um, typically it's done in person, but because I was working during the peak of COVID, like literally the middle of COVID, I actually did my training um, virtually with other um, training DSLs around the whole world um, with trainers on the call, of course. And they were really testing our knowledge on how to make sales and how to improve our sales um, skills, pretty much. So you're able to sit in, I think it's about for, mm, I think mine was like four days, something like that. About four days where you're sitting in, you know, speaking to these coaches who have been in your shoes and they're teaching you so much. It can be tiring, but finally you get to say that you are capstone certified, honey, meaning that, you know, you know a little bit about making sales across your district when it comes to the Frito-Lay world. So you get to do that. That's the capstone training. And then you also have to do a whole bunch of modules on your iPad, which you can, of course, do that over time. Right. And lastly, 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 I know I spoke so much, y'all. Um, and I hope I'm answering a lot of the questions y'all possibly have. And even if you have more questions, drop them below, honey. But yeah, lastly, you um, as you're, you know, you're building, you're growing, you're managing your own actual district. You have to go through the last step of all to actually become a district sales leader, official, official. I say DSL because technically you're training to become one, of course. But to become official, official and get that pay raise, you have to do the actual um, test, which is pretty much like you are presenting in front of company extra, extra high end leaders. You're presenting what you learned pretty much in a presentation. And you're also going um, within your district. I think some some locations, depending on where you are, um, your boss is going to allow you to choose five stores to pretty much show off. So you're showing off all that you've learned within your stores. Like it's going to all be reflected in the stores that you manage. So you choose either five stores or three stores, depending on where you are. And you show them that you know how to like, you know, your craft. 
you're showing them that you've made relationships with your store managers. So you're showing them all the spaces that you got. Like you got Frito-Lay products in the front, three Frito-Lay areas in the front, five in the back, honey, one in each row, honey. And this to me is something that it can easily be done if you have a good relationship with your store managers, right? Because it's almost like presentation day, pretty much. You're presenting your PowerPoint and then boom, you're going out, you're showing them, this is this is what I've done and this is what I secure. And mind you guys, um, it's good to have relationships with people around you because they're able to help you when it comes to actually becoming certified as a district sales leader. They're able to help you set up all these things because it's not easy to set up um, boxes, displays, all that stuff. I'm gonna put a photo right here. It's not easy to set up all these different displays. So you have to be you know, on point and you have to allow people to help you as well. Um, and make great connections with your team, your your actual other co-working DSLs, um, and of course your RSRs who are technically like your employees. So guys, I know I spoke so, so, so much, but I hope you've been paying attention because this video is very important and I wish it was out there for somebody like me before I even started the position, just so I would know like, what am I getting myself into? Thank y'all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope this video was very, very, very essential and on point for you. Stay tuned for more and join the Thrive Society so you can thrive, honey. I'll see y'all next time.